What's crackalackin' everybody and welcome back to what is another in the sleep video. So holy flippin' moly ravioli. I don't know whether I should be like really excited right now or whether I should be like pooping my pants because this thing is uh, it's quite in the middle. The end result is gonna be absolutely amazing but getting there is gonna be very tough. So yes, you probably worked out by now. I'm talking about nanoblocks because we got the Pikachu, we got the Gengar in front of us and if you want to check those videos out, I'll link them in the description below. But you know what? They were just leading up to this final challenger. They were just like a test of our patience and skills which Ando doesn't have either of those. We'll put these at the back because today we're taking on the master, the hardest nano blocks there is to build. I'm talking about Lizardon, or otherwise known as Charizard. Now, Lizardon is actually how you pronounce in Japanese if you want to say Charizard, and this is so baller. I cannot get over how awesome this is going to turn out like. Just have a look at like the picture of the uh, final design. I wonder if he's got two wings or one. We'll find out, I guess. But then there's like this epic sort of blue bit down here. We've got the see through part of the flame, so that's going to look like it flickers in the light. It's going to be really awesome. We've also got like the cream part of his stomach, the blue eyes, holy mac and cheese and meatballs. The attention to detail is absolutely insane. We've got this sweet looking pixelated Charizard as well. And for some reason, I really like the pixelated forms. I don't know why, I think they're really baller. I always cut them out, put them at the back there. But what I'm most worried about is it's three Pokeballs out of five. So that does mean that it's a uh, slightly harder sort of model. We've got all the Japanese writing down the bottom, over 200 pieces. Dun dun dun! This is going to be a worry, let me tell you, that's going to be a worry. Up the top is just got Pokemon X Nanoblocks, because it's the uh, Nanoblocks sort of Lego collaboration sort of dealio. But then on the back, we've actually got the flipping Nanoblocks barcode for Charizard there. Warning, choking hazard, and a whole bunch of Japanese. It's smaller than it is, the more realistic the work becomes. So yeah, it's pretty much saying the smaller like the item is, the better it's flipping going to look. So it's good, the Pokemon, it kind of comes to life eventually. We've also got Nanoblocks up the top there, but we swing it around here. We've got this epic sort of like red band uh, down the bottom here, looking pretty cool. Doesn't go over the thing, and right inside of there, I don't know if you can see it, it says Lizard on Nano Blocks. But without further ado, let's trim off the uh, top of this bad boy and see if we can flip and oh my gosh, what we get inside. I am so worried. It's going to be so many bags. I can tell you right now, this is going to, oh geez, how many is that? That's four. That's four different. Okay, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Oh wait, oh wait, yep, we found a fifth. Okay, now it's terrible. Now I'm absolutely terrified. Oh gosh, let's have a look at the instructions. There's, oh, gee whiz, this looks like more instructions than I've ever got given before. This is gonna be so flipping epically long. But looking at these like IKEA sort of instructions, we've got step number one to seven. So there's only seven steps, but look at each step. Like they're so flipping complicated. It's definitely gonna be an interesting build. Let me tell you, with five different packets of stuff, um, they're all really tiny as well. Gee whiz. All right, so I'm starting this at what time is it? It is currently 6 uh, in 6 p.m. at night, and I'm going to say it right now, I don't think I'm actually going to get this finished till about uh, 12 at midnight, so it's going to be very interesting. I'll check back in when I finish this one, guys. But without further ado, we're just going to get straight into it and try and build the monster himself, Charizard. Let's get started. Cheese and meatballs in my pants, guys. Let's come in for a group hug because check out the time. I'm not even kidding you right now. It is nearly 9 a.m. in the morning and my fingers are just about falling off. It's ridiculous. And seriously, guys, I would do this all again because check out the final result. This is the best nanoblock figure we've easily built. Check this out. He's actually got two different wings. How baller does that look? I mean, you just have to look at the colors on him. The bright orange used as his skin just like adds a real popping color. Then we've got this sweet looking aqua blue and you turned around for his uh, see through flame there. I reckon that's a really, really awesome flame. I don't know how flames can be awesome, but this one definitely is. And uh, yeah, with the whole wing thing, he looks like he was born to fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. And also what I like about this figure is how fat he is. He's like easily one of the fattest nano blocks we've ever seen. I think he's had one too many magic cups for breakfast. Um, the only downside I could really find with this figure, because it's so epic, is probably that it's not too sturdy. As you can see, the ears are probably the worst part. They're literally only a couple of bricks and they fall off so easily. Um, the flame's not too well secured on. Same with the wings. Like They could probably all fall off at any point if you like throw it around or something. But you know, they're not all going to be as sturdy as like Gengar here, because he's seriously like a ball of, uh, I don't know, you could throw him down a hill or like go tumbleweeding with him or something and he'll be absolutely okay, but uh, Charizard's the type of dude that you sort of have to look on the shelf for a bit, but I'm, I'm fine with that. Like, you could stare at him on a shelf and you'd be so entertained for the next five years of your life. 
And once again, guys, look at this. We got so many spare parts. And seriously, I actually need the spare part, like, right before. I'm like, I'm trying to build it. And then it came up. I'm like, yes, all right, we got the spare parts. So let's try and get one. My part that I needed wasn't in the pile. So I seriously think they blindfold the workers at the Nanoblocks factory. And they're like, all right, just chuck random little blocks in the bags. And whatever goes in there, let's hope they can build the figure with that. So, like, the workers just chuck all these blocks into the bag. And that's what happened. Because I'm missing a piece. And the piece wasn't in the spare parts pile. So I don't know how they work out these spare parts. But uh, I can't complain because we did manage to get it finished and the end result was incredible. Do you reckon this is the best figure yet compared to the Pikachu and the, oh gosh, well now he's got, now got a tail, but oh, we got a Pikachu and a Gengar there. Out of these three, oh, we just broke his ear off. Oh. <laughs> But out of all three of them here, which one is your favourite? For me personally, definitely be Charizard. He's most likely, he's the biggest one here. He's got epic looking wings, a see-through flame. You cannot beat that, Hot Wheels. And then it'll probably go Gengar and then Pikachu. They're all cool in their own respects, but Charizard probably takes the cake for me. Make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. And do you want me to build another one? I don't actually know which one I'd want to build in the future, so I'll pop the chart up now. And if you guys do want me to build one, make sure you leave a comment in the comment section below which one I should build next. But uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this Nanoblocks video. I enjoyed it so much. Building like goes for me even though it's time consuming i find it so relaxing and all that it's really awesome and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video but most of all what do you think so guys what do you do you throw me up though you <laughs> make sure you keep on flying caca, caca.